What are we doing today at the Saskatoon International Airport? Well, if you don't know, I reside in Saskatoon. And today, I want to talk to you guys about luxury tax because there's a lot of misconception on what luxury tax is. A lot of you don't know what it is, how much it costs you, and how it affects you if you're buying not even a luxury car, but a newer truck. So, with that said, let's go. And we're back. August Luxury Motor Cars, guys. It's always some cool stuff kicking around here. We're going to have a conversation about that right away. If you can see a jet taking off over there, let's go see what's happening. Matt August. What's going on? Uh, what's for breakfast over there? What are you eating? Champions. Champions, yeah. I've just eaten a whole champion. I've been up since four because <laughs> I got on a flight to come see you and you just got here. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's all. 3 a.m. your time, actually. <laughs> yeah. I, I came in today because I want to look at your cars and have a conversation about luxury tax. So, but I'll, you're busy. I'm going to shake down Mike because he doesn't do a whole lot. So, we, I can have that conversation with him. Sounds good. Yeah, thanks, man. Okay, buddy. Oh, yeah. uh, Mike. There's a dog on your desk. I know. It's where he likes to sit. That's his spot? Uh, like a... Sometimes. Or yeah. he'll sit at the head of the table. What's his name? Bentley. Bentley. That's my boy's name. Like my kid. Bentley. You good boy? Get off the desk. Thank you. Oh, he listens better than my kid. <laughs> what do you think? Hmm? Hey, you got five minutes? Yeah. When you're done? Yeah. I want to do a video. First of all, I haven't seen you since... It's been a while. Your uh, Yeah. Which was fantastic. Yeah. And now you guys have it coming up here, cars and toys. Cars and toys. We have Santa comes and everyone donates, donates a toy and yeah. a photo with Santa in the showroom. I was here last year, actually, I'm gonna put a clip in it right here. Yeah. But I was here last year and it was crazy. There was truckloads of toys and yeah. people lined up everywhere. It's pretty amazing when the community comes together and gives so much. I'm gonna try and come this year. The thing is it's on the 6th, I think, or the 9th, sorry. Whatever day it's on, I leave two days later for Jamaica. So wow. Perfect. I will- leave out of Kelowna. But well, yeah, I just have to coordinate that with my wife. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, um, I want to talk to you today about luxury tax. Yeah. A lot of people don't understand what it is. Um, luxury tax, yeah. Yeah, and I want to talk about uh, just how it affects you guys maybe or affects a buyer of a car. Yeah. Um, and uh, what do you think? Yeah, I, it doesn't affect us in any way because the luxury tax is only on new. Okay. Um, so, or cars that have never been registered in Canada. So meaning if you were to buy a 2019 Audi RS6 from the US and import it to Canada, it doesn't have a, a, a Canadian Reggie, you will pay the 10% luxury tax on that car if it's over okay. 100 grand. Um, if you buy a used car in Canada, which pretty much that's everything we sell, uh, yeah. no, no luxury tax. So anybody that shops here doesn't have to pay luxury tax? No. And for example, so say you bought- but, but you still have to pay the luxury PST and GST, like the, the regular tax. Like, yeah, for your pr province. For, for whatever province you're in, you pay your tax. Or a state, you guys ship worldwide. Yeah, in yeah. BC, we, we pay, we do have an extra luxury tax already, so we pay on a car over 150 grand, we have, it's 25% tax. Right. Plus the 10% there would be if the car was new. Right. So you buy a new car for 200, say, Yeah. you're gonna pay 10% right out of the gate for the luxury tax and then 25% on top of that. Wow. So yeah, you take, for example, say that orange 765 you have down in the end there. Uh, it's a brand new car, essentially. But it's been registered. But it's been registered. But you'll save, you know, what, 40, 40 grand on it? On that one, 70,000. Probably 70,000. Cool. Just, just from no luxury tax. So anything used or registered in Canada, no, no luxury tax. No luxury tax. But and if you bought a 765 like that from the US, there'd be luxury Yeah, tax. anything okay. that's a 2018 and newer that's imported into Canada, you'll pay luxury tax that's over a hundred grand. So how about this? You guys you guys bring cars in from all over the world, right? Um, so if you guys bring a car in, does a customer have to pay luxury tax? It would be charged to us. Okay. So it would, get, it would add to the cost. Like if okay. I bought a car from, I, we like we've bought new cars from dealers in the past. So if I bought a car from Mercedes, yeah, it's pretty much added to the MSRP. So if I bought okay. a new G wagon and it was two seventy five, there would be another twenty seven five added to okay. the selling price. So interesting. Okay, and then tax on top of that. Okay. Yeah. Well, I will say I was snooping around. You guys are stacked up on inventory right now. Like there is pretty much anything anybody could ever want. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff there that's not for sale. Um, we got some sold units in there. We've been so busy, which has been yeah. great. 
Yeah, cool. Well, I'm just going to continue to store cars here and yeah, uh, perfect. it'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Okay, but I appreciate it. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, no problem, man. Hey, before I take off real quick. Yeah. Did Damon, Damon bought your Aventador yesterday? Yeah. For a winter beater, he said? Yeah. Has he been watching my YouTube videos? Watching your YouTube yeah. videos? Why? I did that last year. <laughs> yeah, <you laughs> and I said I was going to put a plow on it. But it wasn't an S. Huh? It wasn't, it wasn't an S. S. He must be a fan. I think he watches my videos. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So the problem we're going to have coming up on the channel is we're going to need a new car. And uh, I'm really considering Huracan 582, which this one is. Perfumante would be cool. Evo Spider. I believe this is the supercharged one off DDE. That was their Aperta. Oh, yeah, it is for sure. It is. Was there Perta? So you wouldn't know it. That car actually had no windshield at one point. Got a Evo. Looks like judging by the spoiler. R8 is always an option. This is an older one. This would be a newer one. You can see the difference. Headlights are the big giveaway. My buddy Doug's 765. That was a few videos ago. If you go back and look. 720 this is definitely one of my top picks but a coupe god damn it like that one right there why do they have to have these i'm not looking for a car always an option these ferraris are always cool 458 is always my favorite car well second favorite compared to a 488 Those are all million dollars. We won't even look over there. I don't think this rope applies to us. We're special. I could be mistaken, but yellow is not a common Viper color, so this could be the DDE Viper. Dodge Viper. And what a Rolls Royce. It's just gangster. So my buddy Doug would love that car. I'm going to send him a picture of it right now. This is probably the most beautiful blue McLaren. 720 I've ever seen, but only at Hogless Luxury Motor Cars would you have another one. This is gorgeous, it's got nice wheels on it. Oh my goodness! Old school Ferrari, these are cool too, reasonably priced, cheaper than a C8. Gated, surprised DDE hasn't scooped this thing up. Porsche. Matt, are you guys collecting gated transmissions around here? Like, what's going on? No. No? <laughs> not even here? Is this a kit car? Yeah. Yeah, it's a Firo. Looks like it. I can tell. It's not a Firo. If you guys wondering, it's the real deal. These are collector cars now. These are going up like crazy in the gated. But why wouldn't they have two of them, right? This is this like DDE's car that they had. The one that got hit. It's also gated. This is DDE's Daily Driven Exotics for those that don't know. You should know if you're watching my channel. But uh, this is their car. Or was. Mike bought it, Mike Hall. Gated non LP Spider. That's super cool and has a cup holder. I wasn't aware Lamborghini generally doesn't have cup holders. That's my big problem with Lamborghini. Man, this thing is gangster. So cool. Oh my goodness, this is it. R8. Gated. Oh my word. This is one of my dream cars right here. and take my money. Wow. So cool.